This is my indoor aquaponics system and I wanted to do a quick video just overviewing what aquaponics is and how I set up my system. So welcome to our laundry room. As you can see it's not very big but I have managed to grow a pretty successful garden in here with some cool vegetables. Uh, so aquaponics is it's a mixture of aquaculture and hydroponics. So as you can see, I've got a pretty big fish tank down here with some goldfish and some koi. And uh, they power the whole thing. What they do is they um, produce their urine in the water and bacteria convert that um, urea into first ammonia, then nitrites, then nitrates, which serves as food for the plants. I've also got as you can see, some hanging um, fluorescent lights. And these are special grow lights and they provide the necessary light to help the plants grow. So, just a little bit more specifically, I've got an automatic feeder that uh, feeds my fish four times a day. I'll give them an extra feeding right here, which they'll probably appreciate. And so it's just on a timer and it feeds the fish, just like that. and does that four times a day. So that helps them to uh, produce their waste. And then I've got a pump back here. This is just a pond pump that pumps water up into the grow bed. And I've got a little valve that helps me to control how fast it comes into the bed. And you can see there's no soil in this, in this grow bed. This is just lava rock. And so this is a perfect, really porous media medium for uh, bacteria to grow on. So bacteria are kind of the key to the whole system. And they take that fish waste and they do all their conversions and make it available to the plants to use. And so, um, like I said, no soil, but this also serves another purpose and that's to give the plant roots some good structure. So I'm growing some thyme. This is actually a cantaloupe plant, which is totally uh, growing over the sides. I'm also growing some peppers. You can see I've got one uh, little pepper there and another little pepper hiding in there. And I have to pollinate these by hand because obviously I don't have any um, insects in here to pollinate them, but it's been successful so far. This uh, shorter one is another variety of pepper. These are yellows, yellow peppers. I've got some spinach here. This is uh, lettuce that I've already harvested and I had some bok choy in here as well. So as you can see, I'm starting some more lettuce uh, to replace that. I've got some pretty successful basil going. And then this is a tomato plant. And also I have had to pollinate these by hand. But as you can see, these are, these are going pretty well as well. So yeah, that's kind of a quick overview. Oh, and I've got some green onions, but they've been overshadowed by the tomatoes, so they're not doing as well. But yeah, so that's kind of aquaponics in a nutshell. If you're interested in learning more about how I set this up, I've got a series of videos that have that I've taken uh, along the way. I've, it's taken about a year to set this up the way I have it now. Uh, it doesn't take that long, always. Just I've been buying things little by little over the last year. And... Um, yeah, that's about it.